forget to tell me, Noble. You. I didn't just meet you. No, you guys met a long time ago. We met ages ago. We <laughs> met in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. In the French, was that 05? I was doing a one person show called The Indignation. And she was doing solo and a Palmer gig. Jason Webley wrote out to all his friends that were at the French Festival and said, You're all there, you should go uh, see support each other. Ship. I went to see her show first, then she came to see my show, and then we ate an egg. It's important to point out that the show was amazing. I've the seen the show. I can, I can attest. <laughs> I think the thing that I was most impressed by was that he had done everything. He would clearly <laughs> done so much shit to be able to do this thing. And I was like, I would love to do shit with you. We really weren't in touch again for a year. year. Yeah, really, you were just coming back through New York, and uh, I was there, and we hung out. And Yep. Happen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I thought he was hot, and we wound up collaborating on a relationship instead of anything useful. <laughs> Which lasted until I went to grad school and she went on tour. I think fundamentally we were mainly attracted to each other as artists in the long run. We, we got over whatever that was and then got on to collaborating. And she was like, yo, I'm going to do this project that's kind of synth poppy and blah de blah and uh... We didn't even talk about playing music together. I was like, let's finally, let's try and collaborate. Do you want to help me put together the stage show? And, and Michael was like, was like sure, and but I can I, play drums. I'd met Chad Rains at school, and I was like, if you're doing a synth pop project, there is no one in the world better than this guy. I definitely was advocating for Jarek from Jump because I was like, I, I don't think it's possible to get this guy. He's so good, he's so busy. Mm -hmm. There's any chance in hell that you can get him, and he and I were Jason Webley's rhythm section for. Oh, that's how you um, met him? Yeah, like 10 years. Anyone who's toured with Jason just kind of got the stamp of approval. Yeah, I mean, the whole building the tour thing, it, the start of it was Amanda saying she wanted a, a director and me knowing her history of crowdsourcing and wanting to involve the audience. She had an idea that kind of was the seed, which was this old Superman idea, and wanting to do a cover of Laurie Anderson's Oh Superman mm. with the oh, oh, oh <laughs> parts sampled one oh to a new image of a mm. fan. All crowdsourced. All crowdsourced. Mm. I was like, well, is there any way that we could do that live? Can we use the, the drums or the synth on stage to cycle through photos that we were given by that audience via the internet? It is really great because there's always a few moments where you look out and you see somebody see Mm. their thing. Like, we just did a thing all together. Like, you sent us a photo, we put it up, it's literally all happening in time to the music. You know, that's the, like, the thing that's exciting about live music and the internet now is that it isn't just this, like, one-way conversation that it kind of always has been, which is, like, you come to a city, you play to a bunch of people, you say your thing, you play your songs. It's now kind of becoming more of a two-way conversation. <laughs> And then there was a bunch of other random shit. I basically made this 12 page list of like ideas, just like ideas, like mm -hmm. across the board. Where like the flashlight thing, giving out these flashlights was in the treatment. Uh, we did this thing called the scroll, paired with the song Ali Ali Oxen Free, and Amanda asked people to write down the names of people that they wished they were, and then do a live feed. Bottom feeder, Michael had this brilliant idea of having the backdrop literally like collapse and mm. fall down and turn into a dress. Mm. That's been beautiful. This has been I some of my really favorite will. moments of show. Um, will you talk a little bit about the album? Oh, sure. Um, yeah, so my side project is called The Few Moments. The most recent record was something that I did in the cracks of time between working on Amanda's show, directing the Bed Song video, which is going to come out in a few months with Sarah also. And, Boom! And then I also roped in Amanda, who sings on a song called Magic Feature Box, which we've been... Beautiful. played some guitars and bass on that track. Chad played on a couple of tracks. And then uh, my girlfriend Adina did some vocals on track. She's got an amazing voice. Mm. Adina was all was also fucking absolutely fabulous in the Do It With A Rockstar. Oh. Do It With A Rockstar. 
if you can use the talents of everyone around you mm. for whatever is going on, it kind of makes life feel worthwhile. I mean, even just like Chad having his wife playing synth on tour mm -hmm. and Adina being in the videos and Neil getting up on stage with us, it feels like our lives are actually kind of organically complete instead of totally separated. Mm -hmm. Sort of like magically fell into place and he took control and was like, we should get Chad Rains and we talked about bass players. We should players. get Sarah Lasley. Oh. And he, well no, <laughs> he really like yeah. <laughs> directed the band into being and then the band went into the studio and the record that came out. Yeah was like, that absolutely didn't have to happen. And everything worked m like magic. So yeah, yeah. we looked out. Yeah, yeah, we looked out. High, High five. five. <laughs> <laughs>